When and how did you lose your virginity? Walk to the store for condoms on his birthday. Awkward sex in his room with the TV blaring. Followed by awkward they know dinner with his family. We were 21. Lost it to each other after a month of dating. Then we both became stage 5 clingers and are still together. I was 16 and oh my. It was so romantically planned. Candles. Roses. Soft music. The whispering of sweet nothings in my ear. Then one morning a few days before the big event was planned we woke up hungover and banged. Such is life. My best friend of a few years. Always loved her. We finally stopped being friends and started dating. I was 19. A few months in. I came over to her house. We had ramen. And then we had sex. We both cried and said I love you a lot. It was pretty neat. In high school, I was at my gal's place in the basement. We were watching the classic, award-winning film, Bring It On and pulled the blanket up and made the move. As I am in the process of losing the V-card I hear footsteps near stairs. I quickly jump up and zip up as her mother walks down the stairs. We chat briefly and she leaves. I turn to my gal and say, was I in? She confirms that I indeed had been. I was pumped. I high-fived her. It only takes a few seconds right guys. I chalked it up as a victory for my manhood. You high-fived. Get back in there champ. But. Dad. You heard me son. Get back in there and keep the family name alive. Two dads. That took an unexpected twist. Don't judge them. I was 20. And I lost it at Woodstock. So wild. Man. In 2001, I was 16, on the couch with my then boyfriend late at night while my mom was asleep and an old Richard Dawson episode of Family Feud was on in the background, and they say romance is dead. She was my girlfriend at the time and when my parents were at a wedding, I had the house to myself, arranged candles and great music. As we were going at it, a thunderstorm rolled in so I opened the windows. It was pretty f***ing picturesque. I was 14, she was 17, half Japanese and her name, I shit you not, was Yoshi. This simple fact alone makes it the best story out of all my friends. Okay here we go, I'm a girl, I was 14, I had been dating this guy for a while and he was very kind, I knew it had to be him that I lost my virginity to, all the other guys I knew were such dickheads, I felt lucky to have such a nice guy be so into me, so there we are, all 14 and no place to go, I made him turn off the puff daddy as we started in the bedroom Biggie had just died, then I freaked thinking omg what if I bleed and his mom sees. I genuinely thought there would be a mountainous gushing of blood, so I convinced him to let me ride him on the toilet. We were in the bathroom in 4 nanoseconds. I rode him. No blood. No hymen. Still waiting for the repressed memory that'll explain that for me. He took me to see Spice Girls later that summer. He was awesome. Upvote because you got a guy to take you to the Spice Girls. Also, you had sex on a toilet. 17 years old, asked this girl to come study for a final at my house. We watch Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind instead great movie and then start to make out. She asks me if I'm a virgin, I admitted I was, and she basically said she likes guys with more experience. I plead for her to f*** me anyway, she doesn't it was just kinda awkward and unsatisfying, too nervous to barely keep it up, I drive her home, and we barely even talk after that. I dated an insatiable girl on birth control after that so I my technique improved, but my first time was bad, oh well. As a virgin, I just came here to see how other people bragged that they lost their virginity in the best fashion. As a virgin myself it's both entertaining and ever so slightly depressing don't you think? Was 16 and only way I could see my girlfriend Sunday morning was to go to church with her. Found the janitor's closet and decided some Sunday morning service was a good idea. I had sex in the janitor's closet during Sunday church service. Throwaway. I was 21. Grew up in a really religious household. So it took a while for me to get comfortable with the idea of having sex at all, let alone with another girl. We met at my university's LGBT club cliché. 
but whatever and we got to talking about sex one day, and I mentioned that I'd never had sex before, long story short, we ended up sleeping together, and it was awesome, I didn't know what I was doing, but she was really considerate and gentle and fun to be with, she was kind of like my sex mentor, haha, <laughs> she showed me how to properly pleasure another woman, she made me come three times which was insane since it was my first time and I had no idea was doing, but it was like she knew my own body better than I did, we didn't end up in a relationship, but we did sleep together a few more times and two years later were still really good friends, 11 tenths, would lose virginity again, I lost mine when I was 17, in the trunk of my car, to a boy who only wanted to have sex because he was stoned and horny, it was in the middle of August so I basically f for the first time in a sauna, then he laughed at me because I queefed, years later it makes a fun story to tell, at college in my then girlfriend's now wife dorm room, it was a quint she lived with four other girls and was mildly terrifying the entire two hour escapade that we would be walked in upon, nice. Marshall. I had sex my freshman year of high school with my new friend's older brother. I was 14 he was almost 17. I had known him for three months and he had been hitting on me pretty hard. I had never had this kind of attention from anyone before, at least not so blatantly. His mom, sister and himself all shared the attic space of a house. It was sectioned off with bookshelves and such. But still, so I tell my mom I am going to stay the night at my friend's house blah blah blah. Her brother offers me his bed, but only if we cuddle. My first time was him fully clothed, me with my shirt and bra still on silently doing it missionary style so we didn't wake up his mom and sister. I cried for what seemed like the whole day when I went home. Then a week later he got back with his ex. We went on to date on and off for almost two years. It was the worst relationship of my whole life thus far. Near the end I was expecting the Nazis to burst in and for you to reveal you were Anne Frank. That's the hardest I have laughed in months. I'm late to the party with this one, and I'm fairly sure I've posted it before, but it makes me laugh so I'll tell it again. A month before my 15th birthday I lost my virginity to my boyfriend of two years. I thought he was panicking too much for it to be enjoyable, so I thought I'd try to do something funny to lighten the mood. Halfway through, I suddenly start shouting wait, no, stop, stop. He pulled out, looking at me with a panicked expression, to which I continued, hammer time, he didn't find it funny. Quickly. Oh man, well there was me and these three smokin' hot blondes. No wait, four blondes, yeah four blondes, and I was banging them for like, at least four hours, each. Yeah, that was a great 13th birthday. Did the boobs feel like bags of sand? Oh yeah man, and the grains of sand were like, so fine. A kid at my school lost his virginity to a weight bench pole, slipped and fell on it and it went right up his. I felt this story was better than my boring car story. His what? His what? Vagina. Niece try, mom. What was I supposed to do? My arms were broken. No, we're not talking about that. 17 year old virgin 1999 getting close to y2k getting scared live in sokar l don't want to die a virgin visit tijuana 20 dollars i was 16 with a girl i'd never spoken to in the back seat of my first car behind the skating rink in my town before school she took her clothes off and revealed one of the nicest bodies i've seen to this day and proceeded to remove her matching red victoria's secret bra and panties we started having sex then i noticed the blood this girl had started her period on me i realized i was having sex for the first time said it, and continued. I lasted a lot longer than I'd expected to and overall the experience was pretty f great. Totally true. All of it. Am I right? Don't really remember it clearly because I was pretty drunk at the time and she was too. She was a little older than me and more experienced than I was. I remember flirting with her a bit. She flirted right back. Everything got a little blurry and I vaguely remember clothes coming off. Then my head cleared a little as she got on top and I remember that it felt really good. The next thing I can clearly remember is waking up next to her with a splitting headache and wondering what happened the night before. Props for being that drunk and still getting the soldier to stand at attention.
What can I say? She had a very talented tongue and I was an excitable young man, smiley face. Drunk on tequila, in the back seat of a neon. Fight club was on, so I'm not actually allowed to talk about it. Don't make my mistake. I was 16, the guy the first was with at the time had this belief that he'd never take a girl's virginity but I was ready, the whole time I was with him, I told him I wasn't a virgin, we were ready to have sex, so we did, kind of casually, I lost into him, in my car, I was a natural, so he never questioned the lie that I wasn't a virgin, everything worked out perfectly, in fairness, everyone is a natural, except for maybe that Honda robot and the sentient fleshlights. I was 15 at my house, my girlfriend of the time gets on top of me, rives around for a bit, I scream because it turned out I had a tight foreskin, it ripped, I bled, I cried, it was so embarrassing she denied it ever happening for 3 years, I am now circumcised and I enjoy having wild sex with my new girlfriend in funky positions. 1000 miles from home, in a tent, next to the girl's cousin at age 15. 18 years old rolling around the dirt like an animal outside a garage party in some suburb. I lost mine to a girl I dated for about a month this past holiday season actually. It was Christmas Eve and we had both just finished up family dinners at our respective homes we live in separate towns about 20 minutes away from each other. We were texting and she told me she really wanted to see me, but was hesitant to meet up because it was relatively late and wasn't sure if it would be worth it. Well, I convinced her to meet me at my place and since my parents were home, she couldn't come inside. So, we got in her car and drove to a secluded area by my old high school and started getting it on in the back seat aka making out, grinding, touching of things, etc. After a while she said she really wanted to have sex with me, but since I was a virgin and she wasn't, it was my decision and she would understand if I wasn't ready. I teased her by making her await my decision longer than needed because I thought it was funny, and after a while I finally gave her peace of mind by giving her the D. By the time we had done the deed, it was past midnight and therefore Christmas. It was a very merry Christmas, indeed. I guess it was a white Christmas then, wasn't it? A, eh, I'll show myself to the door now. I loved this girl with a fiery passion, and at 17 in a fairly nice hotel room that passion exploded all over her, I jest. It actually went shockingly well, simultaneous orgasms and what have you. I credit the amount of fooling around that we had done before this. We had a pretty good sense of how to please each other before ever actually f I was 18 and it was mine and my now ex-girlfriend's one year anniversary we had done everything else up to this point, including anal, but she had been extremely paranoid about HPV. We did some foreplay and I put on the condom and lubed up. I barely got the head in and she started crying from so much pain and told me to take it out. We tried again, but same result. She was still horny so she asked me to go down on her. I did, which was a mistake seeing as how I had just popped her cherry. My face and hands looked like the red guy from Cow and Chicken throwaway time. I was 11 years old when my cousin finally managed to complete a rape. This started the downhill spiral of intense promiscuity and drug use. When I was 20, I had sex for the first time with someone I was in love with. He broke up with me. It's been almost a year and I still dream about him. Lost mine when I was 17 to a couch. I went to stick it in my girlfriend at the time. Missed and planted my pecker between the couch cushions. Then I asked if it was in. She said no. Warning. Disgusting. At 17 to a girl I think I loved at the time. Went terribly. We went to her house and had it all planned out. Had condoms. Great. So we start kissing and undressing. Some foreplay. Then I put on the condom and go to put it in her. And as I look down there I get a few I'd never really seen before. You see, she had a massive bush so I never went down on her. And had never really given her vag a good once over. Well, now here I was face to face so to speak. And what do I see but a big, green, mucousy gob of something stuck to her pubes towards the bottom of her vagina. Now, I later learned that this was... In fact, the result of a yeast infection. But at the time I had no idea. Anyway, I didn't know what to do but try to go through with it. 
but I couldn't. I put it in and couldn't stop feeling utter disgust in what I'd seen. I went soft pretty quickly without finishing. We then had a really awkward shower where she tried to get my dick up again but it resembled a shrunken lima bean at that point and no amount of foreplay was going to fix that. No. Please. No. Don't. Don't destroy all this romance shit people dropped here by talking about green slime around a chick's vagina. After this big party with a bunch of friends and family this hot girl and I drove off I'm pretty sure everyone knew what was up. I took her to this hotel and we just went at it. Neither of us had any idea what we were doing. We hooked up about a dozen more time that week. Then the honeymoon was over. I'm still with her too. Another ask reddit thread I can't partake in. I had just turned 16. This girl, pretty much the school's bicycle, was house-sitting for her aunt and uncle, and so she hits me up on MySpace and asks if I want to hang out. Quite frankly I thought she was a tad annoying and she had a boyfriend, so I didn't have any precognition as to the events of the night. I say no, I'm not really interested in doing that. She begs, even offers me $40 at one point. She doesn't have a car and I couldn't imagine her finding someone to pick me up and take me to her. So I say I'll take the $40 if she can find me a ride. Thinking I'll just be spending a night in. Nope. Not three minutes later I get a call from my bandmates as the time. And they're coming to pick me up so we can go hang out with this girl. We get there. Go to the grocery store where she picks up condoms for her and her boyfriend. We all make jokes about her being a whore. She laughs along. We decide we're going to crash there and just leave in the morning. My guitarist and I split the bed in the guest room. I can't really sleep. And I get a text from her at about midnight that she can't sleep. She replies hot tub. And I thought f*** it. Why not? We're hanging out in the hot tub I'm in my boxes. She had her swimsuit there and the whore conversation comes up again. I try to be the nice guy and tell her it's not really a big deal. At some point I toss out could be worse. You could be me. I don't think anybody's seen me naked. Really? Yup. Take off your boxes. Now. Right about then my penis takes over and my boxes go sailing over the edge of the hot tub in maybe 3 seconds flat. She's giggling. Oh my god. Etc. My dick starts talking for me. Your turn. Oh my god. No. I have a boyfriend. At this point I pretty much concede defeat. Returning back to good guy status. Yeah. You probably shouldn't. Apparently those were the magic words because her bra came unstrapped and she was all over me not long after that. I convinced her to give me a blowjob, which she insists on doing underwater. Let me tell you, underwater BJs are an odd experience. You're above the water, and it's kind of just you and your thoughts. Staring at the stars, nobody else in sight, all the while your pole is being fellatiated. When she gets out, she demands sex. I hesitate, thinking about making it special. We go back on forth on whether she should go get a condom, and finally my dick takes over. I bang away, stumble in back to the bedroom, slightly ashamed. Pass out next to my guitarist. I woke up to $40 on my nightstand the next day, 